There's a lot of shitty things happening in the world at the moment, and we're in the thick of it. But we've whittled down 15 of the most unfun things. Add your own at the end. Number 1. COVID All right, let's get the elephant out of the room, eh, Luxers? COVID is things up for a lot of people. The ripple effect of the virus is endless, and we would have to dedicate an entire video to highlight the damage. Unemployment. Just to highlight one statistic here, unemployment rates remain historically high in the USA. It differs from city to city, but take Atlantic City, Hamilton, New Jersey, for example, where the unemployment rate is 35% according to USA Today, with many citing they're too old to find a new job or switch careers. There's recession, skyrocketing prices on goods and services, mental health problems, amplified poverty, death of loved ones, tourism is non-existent, overcrowded healthcare facilities with no relief for staff, and a mistrust between friends and with the government. There's plenty more, but you get the gist of it. Number 2. Poverty as if extreme poverty wasn't already a problem pre-COVID, can you imagine how bad it's still going to get? It's near impossible to gauge the exact repercussions of the virus until it's over, but the World Bank speculates that a further 150 million people will experience extreme poverty in 2021. Since 1990, a billion people have left their extreme poverty behind. So, Aluxers, there's always hope. Education, healthcare, and food are still all needed to ensure people can get out of poverty. And until governments and politicians truly act on behalf of the people, this problem will sadly continue. We delve so much deeper into these kinds of topics on our channel, Aluxers. Just be sure to subscribe when you're done watching. Number 3. Hunger Poverty and hunger go hand in hand. As we mentioned in our video, reasons why money won't solve world hunger. A lot of people go hungry because of the greed of those in power. Corrupt governments are part of the socioeconomic problem that fuels malnutrition in developing countries. In the words of the late Jacques Diouf, hunger is not an issue of charity, but an issue of justice. Two billion people go hungry every day. That's a fact. It's worse in Africa, where more than half the population go hungry every day. Another fact. 45% of children that die before they turn five years old is because they don't get proper nutrition. Fact. There are communities and individuals who are doing everything in their power to overcome this tragedy. They are looking at innovative ways to feed people, including climate-resistant crops, methods to combat drought, and sharing these ideas with community members. Number 4. Health Forbes.com reports that two people have died from COVID every minute so far in 2021. How does that relate to other health issues around the world? Currently, one child dies every 20 seconds from a preventable disease due to a lack of vaccines. 7,000 people lose their fight against HIV, TB, and malaria daily. Aluxers, even something as common as a woman's monthly period, causes young girls to stay home from school because they don't have access to sanitary products. These absent days heavily affects their education and, in turn, their entire life. But are they enough to eradicate these frightening statistics, especially now after attention has been shifted away and is solely focused on COVID? Number 5. Education as we said earlier, something as common as a monthly period can negatively affect schoolgirls in impoverished communities from attending school because they don't have access to sanitary products. You can see how poverty, health, and education are all linked together. DoSomething.org shared some awful facts about education. 11.07 million children in sub-Saharan Africa leave before completing primary school, and it rises to 13.54 million in South and West Asia. Children from rural communities are twice as likely to not be in school than urban children. Women that don't have full access to education are having more children at an average of 2.5 over their lifetime compared to educated women who are having an average of 1.7 children. And because women and children take the fall for being the most uneducated, they're also the ones more exposed to our next unfun fact. Number 6. Gender-Based Violence GBV takes many shapes and forms. Genital mutilation, human trafficking, child marriage, rape, domestic violence, homicide. Here are some stats. 5,000 honor deaths happen every year. 
35% of women worldwide are subject to domestic violence. One in three women have experienced sexual assault. 10 million children have been victims of child sexual exploitation. And 38% of murdered women have been killed by their partners. Aluxers, these statistics are tragic and don't just happen to women. We know that. If you know or suspect that someone is being hurt, please report it. You never know, you could just be saving someone's life. Number 7. Gender Equality and while we're on the topic of gender, a seriously unfun fact is that over 2.7 billion women do not have the same choice of jobs as men do. The Census Bureau from 2018 confirmed that women of all races earned 82 cents for every dollar a man of all races earned. The Equal Pay Act was passed in 1963. At this time, women working full-time were earning roughly 59 cents to every dollar a man was earning, and then on top of it still doing the housework, child rearing, and cooking. It's taken decades for the pay gap to reach 82 cents per one dollar that men were earning, which is an increase of less than a penny a year. Like Malala Yousafzai once said, I raise up my voice, not so I can shout, but so that those without a voice can be heard. We cannot all succeed when half of us are held back. Number 8. Plastic Another unfun reality is the massive problem we're having with plastic bags. The World Watch Institute states that 100 billion plastic bags are used each year by the US alone, and a mere 0.6% of them are recycled. The rest land up, well, everywhere. These packets kill millions of birds and mammals a year. To make 100 billion bags, you need 12 million barrels of oil. One home will use roughly 1,500 plastic bags a year. The bags are used for an average of 12 minutes and then take around 500 years to degrade once they get to a landfill. Sadly, they don't break down completely but rather photo-degrade. The packet becomes microplastic and that continues to pollute the environment. Which brings us to number 9. Pollution we put plastic packets in a standalone because it's one piece of pollution we are all guilty of and can all avoid by just bringing reusable shopping bags. Pollution as a whole is another category that is most definitely unfun. There are so many different types of pollution. Air pollution both indoor and outdoor, water pollution, soil pollution, light pollution, noise pollution, thermal or heat pollution, radioactive pollution. According to DoSomething.org, Americans make up an estimated 5% of the world's population. However, the US uses 25% of the world's resources, burning up nearly 25% of the coal, 26% of the oil, and 27% of the world's natural gas. We can no longer ignore the long-term effects of pollution. It permeates our lives in every way imaginable, and it's up to us to do everything we can to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Number 10. Natural Disasters Aluxers, are you aware that since COVID hit, more than 100 natural disasters have occurred, affecting more than 50 million people around the world? A Geneva-based International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies released a report with their findings confirming that while everyone's attention was on COVID, communities have experienced catastrophic natural disasters. The report was titled World Disasters Report 2020 Come Heat or High Water, and it showed that over the last 10 years, climate and weather-related disasters have affected 1.7 billion people. The report does add that, although global warming caused by fossil fuel emissions does not directly cause hurricanes or droughts, it is magnifying the risks and frequency of such events. Number 11. Deforestation Deforestation is the removal of standing forests, usually with devastating consequences. This removal could be intentional or natural, and currently it's happening extensively in the Amazon rainforest. There are many factors behind deforestation, but farming is the main cause, with 80% of forests destroyed for cattle ranching and logging. Deforestation means a loss of natural habitat for animals and plants. The trees also provide shade for many animals and plants and regulates the temperature. When those trees are gone, there are major changes to the temperature which kills wildlife. Another effect of deforestation is soil erosion. 
Soil erosion is the displacement of the upper layer of soil, and trees help the land to retain that topsoil and water. When the topsoil depletes, farmers move on to the next patch of land and it becomes a perpetual cycle. Number 12. Domestic Terrorism Aluxers, there are many examples from so many countries, but we'll just use the most recent spectacle that took place at the White House. Trump supporter or Biden supporter, it doesn't matter. The behavior demonstrated on that day was an act of domestic terrorism. Full stop. Trump rioters stormed the steps of the White House when the perimeter was breached and proceeded to break into the building. This kind of madness and mayhem has not been seen inside the Capitol in over 200 years. Several people died during this demonstration. Clashes and riots occur all around the world. Mostly, they're for good causes, like when hundreds protested in Chile demanding access to pensions, or the clashes in Jakarta over Indonesia's new labor law. PolitiFact.com reported there were 2,974 terrorist attacks in the United States between January 1970 and March 2019, and described all of these attacks as domestic terrorism. But when it's executed like it was at the White House, we'd have to say that's really unfun. Number 13. Debt Have you got any idea of what countries owe in debt? $69 trillion in total. And guess what? The USA owes the lion's share of the cash. The US government owes $21 trillion in government debt. Developing countries, despite not having as extreme a debt as the US, are unable to repay loans, putting them at an even greater disadvantage. This unpayable debt, if used to physically help the people, has been recommended to be written off by the Jubilee Debt Campaign. However, if loans were taken for odious reasons and the lender was aware, then the lender needs to scrap that debt as they're responsible for their actions. For example, South Africa loaned $22 billion to fuel the apartheid regime. They are still trying to recover from this. As reported in the Daily Maverick, on the 31st of August 2020, an article by Ed Stoddard and Tim Cohen, the budget deficit for the 2020-21 financial year is seen to be exceeding 760 billion rand, or 15.7% of gross domestic product. This compares to the 370.5 billion rand, or 6.8% of the GDP forecast in the February 2020 budget, a more than doubling of a number that was already very worrying. And Aluxers, that's just one country of many sitting with debt that they cannot repay. Number 14. Racism This is a global issue. It exists in every country around the world. It's an embedded belief that a different race is inferior to your own. It's driven by prejudice, discrimination, ego, and power. Many claim they're not racist, but then carry out subtle racial gestures, like choosing not to sit next to a person of color on a bus, clutching a purse tighter under an arm when a person of color walks past, or watching a person of color suspiciously when they're doing their shopping. White people basically never experience this, and that's just the covert racism. There's also direct racism and systemic racism, and honestly, it's not only unfun, but a really f***ed up situation. DoSomething.org provides some hard truths regarding racism. On average, black men in the U.S. receive sentences that are 19.1% longer than those of white men convicted of the same crimes. In New York City, 88% of police stops in 2018 involved black and Latinx people, while 10% involved white people. And of those stops, 70% of them were completely innocent. And we could go on, but we won't. As Maya Angelou put it, prejudice is a burden that confuses the past, threatens the future, and renders the present inaccessible. Number 15. Corruption Transparency International is a non-governmental organization in Germany that releases a Corruption Perceptions Index where it looks at the misuse of power for individual benefit. Here are the 10 countries they put forward as the most corrupt. Colombia, Mexico, Ghana, Myanmar, Guatemala, Saudi Arabia, Brazil, Kenya, Bolivia, and Russia. Transparency International was also mentioned in a Forbes article written in 2019 and was quoted as saying, Most countries are failing to control corruption in a meaningful way, and that is contributing to a crisis in governance. 
Antonio Guterres, the UN Secretary General, said that corruption costs around $2.6 trillion a year and that businesses and individuals fork out roughly $1 trillion in bribes annually. Can you imagine how different things would be if money was going where it was supposed to go? So, Alexers, what do you believe to be one of the biggest challenges facing our world today? We would love to hear from you in the comments. And of course, you stuck with us until the end, here's your bonus. Climate change is a huge issue. Whether you're a believer or not, there are some undeniable unfun truths. The worst impacts of climate change will not be able to be reversed by 2030. The past 22 years have seen the warmest weather on record. Millions of species are becoming extinct because of climate change. EarthDay.org confirms the USA is the second biggest emitter of greenhouse gases behind China. Former President Donald Trump pulled the US out of the Paris Agreement, which aimed at reducing emissions 26 to 28 percent by 2025. Within hours of becoming president, Joe Biden returned the US to the Paris Climate Accord. Thanks for watching, Aluxers. We're so glad you did. We always appreciate your thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos every day.